Welcome. So what we have in this case is we want to go ahead and sketch the angle 8 pi over 5. And I love this one because not often do we use you know, fifths as a way to you know, sketch your angle. A lot of times we're using thirds, sixths, and fourths, and halves. Um, but fifth is going to cause a little bit of a problem, but we're going to be able to get through it. And again, I'm going to sketch, so you're going to have to um, deal with my kind of sketching here on the graph. So we want to sketch this in standard form. So we know that our initial side is going to be right here on our x-axis, and it's positive. So we're going to be rotating it counterclockwise. Now the next thing is, since it's in terms of pi, we know that if I rotate my angle all the way around, that's going to represent pi. But we're not dealing with pi. We're dealing with 8 pi over 5. So first of all, that's going to be larger than a rotation of, um, pi, of pi radians. And that means I'm going to have to rotate here into the lower half of my two quadrants. The next tough thing is I need to be able to break this up into fifths. So I'm going to kind of eliminate the y-axis here just for a second, because I'm going to want to find a way to break this up into five equal parts, kind of like taking a piece of pizza and cutting it up into five equal parts. And I'm not really too sure on the best way to be able to uh, break it up into five equal parts, all this uh, kind of estimate here. So I guess if you, there you go. Um, so that's roughly close to it, but you can see that that's 1 pi over 5, 1 pi over 5, 2 pi over 5, 3 pi over 5, 4 pi over 5, 5 pi over 5, which is the same thing as um, pi. And then I can continue on. So now all I simply need to do is start with my angle at its um, standard position and then rotate it 8 pi over 4. So pi over 5, 2 pi over 5, 3 pi over 5, 4 pi over 5, 5 pi over 5, 6 pi over 5, 7 pi over 5, and 8 pi over 5. So now that's going to be my angle. I'll kind of redraw in my y-axis. Because usually if you're graphing on something, you're going to still have that y-axis. And then I'll just kind of eliminate the rest of this stuff that I used to sketch my angle. Ah, oops. So there you go. So my angle starts here, and then it ends there. And that is going to be my angle 8 pi over 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you sketch an angle in standard position. Thanks.